hello everyone welcome back to my kitchen today's recipe we are going to be making isiewu isiewu is a very delicious delicacy from the southeastern part of nigeria it can be served with wine or soft drinks i'll be using goat head so i'll go ahead and wash and cut the goat head after washing the goat meat i'll seasoning it with some salt some ginger powder i will add some beef seasoning powder i will add some chopped onions add enough water to the same level of the goat meat i'm going to cook this goat meat until the water dries up i'll cover it and allow it to cook until they are soft these are my spices i'm going to be using i'll be using palm oil uba utazi leaves blended crayfish blended pepper salt blended calabash nutmeg potash and two mangy cubes 25 minutes later the meats are fully cooked I'll go ahead and debone it, cut them into little sizes. I'm done with deboning the goat head. I'll get a clean pot, pour in some palm oil. I'll be mixing my potash with a little bit of water. Then I'll pass it through a sieve. I'm going to mix it very well because I want the potash and the palm oil to mix together very well. As you can see, it has changed in color. I'll go ahead and add one and a half tablespoon of the blended pepper because I want it to be very spicy. I'll add some calabash nutmeg blended crayfish one maggi cube i will stir everything together the only thing i did not have in here is the cooked goat's brain it helped to thicken the sauce which i don't have i will go ahead and add in my uba I already washed them. I'll mix everything together. When I am done mixing everything together, I will add in the goat's meat. I will make sure I mix everything together so that all the flavor of the sauce will go inside the goat's meat. Please guys, if you know you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that anytime I upload any new video, you get notification. I will add in my chopped utazi leaves. I will stir everything together. So now I'm going to taste for salt if needed. I'll add a pinch of salt. I'll stir it together. So when I am done mixing, I'll transfer it on my cooker. I'll allow it to simmer on a very low heat for just one minute. It's ready guys this is here really taste delicious give it a try if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to click on the like button thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye